Michael Savage. And here he is, Michael Savage, live across America. I don't know that I can be that exciting tonight. Uh, thank God I drank some an energy drink before the show because what a day it's been. What a day it's been. Unbelievable. I knew the bell would ring the minute the show started. My dog would bark. You see, it's Halloween evening, the night that the little uh, candy junkies come running around. There it is. I'm in a little house doing a radio show, one of my home studios. And uh, you'd think my assistant would tape the dog's mouth shut. But no, he doesn't think of that. Instead, uh, we have to put up with the dog barking. And that's why I tell you um, I needed the energy drink. It's a wonderful night for the little pagans to run around. Thank God it's ra raining out there. But we have the storm on the East Coast. And uh, we on the West Coast and the uh, west of the Hudson don't realize how disastrous this storm really is. In fact, looking at the pictures that we see on the website, we see the disaster is phenomenal. It's awesome. And yet north of a certain street, 36th or 39th in Manhattan, it's uh, business as usual. Restaurants are full. South disaster zone. But, you know, as Rahm Emanuel said, never let a crisis go unused. And uh, they're not letting it go unused. The ignorant demagogues like Mayor Bloomberg and the strange Andrew Cuomo, who's called the Nixon of New York State, have come out and they said that there's no question that Sandy was clear proof of climate change. There we see ignorance and demagoguery of the worst kind. Why do I say that? I'm not a climate scientist. I'm trained in science, trained in botany. It doesn't make me a climate scientist, but I can read literature. I can read science. Uh, I'll rely upon real climatologists to tell us whether or not the devastating superstorm Sandy was related to climate change. Cuomo, the demagogue that he is, said the following. Anyone who says there's not a dramatic change in weather patterns, I think is denying reality, said Cuomo. Then he went on. He dug his heels and he said, what is clear is that the storms that we've experienced in the last year or so around this country and around the world are much more severe than before. Well, Bloomberg, of course, the anti-soda man, agreed. But scientists, as opposed to politicians, say the evidence is far less concrete than these demagogues appear to believe. Martin Horling, a meteorologist with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, which is a governmental agency, and is he a brave man? No doubt he'll lose his job for being a true scientist instead of a, uh, um, a Pinocchio for them. He said Sandy wasn't boosted by global warming. He said the storm merely revealed natural forces at work. Here's what he said. This is a real scientist. Neither the frequency of tropical or extratropical cyclones over the North Atlantic are projected to appreciably change due to climate change. He said great events can have little causes, he told the New York Times. In this case, the immediate cause is most likely little more than the coincidental alignment of a tropical storm with an extratropical storm. He said rather than fueling the storm, he said climate change has little to no effect upon hurricanes. You hear this? And yet it didn't stop... New York Gov Cuomo and Mayor Mike Bloomberg to say that it was related to climate change. It didn't stop the lying Al Gore to say that the storm was caused by dirty energy. And so you have to understand that you're being manipulated by these pol political liars who are trying to cash in on a terrible event. Now, there's no question I can ask you, nor do I intend to. I'm not interested in whether you think the storm was caused by global warming. It's irrelevant what you think. It's not what you think. It's what scientists know to be real, not what politicians say.